Hi everyone, welcome to Tonic Live with me, Owen. And me, Alison. What is Tonic Live? If you haven't joined us uh, for Tonic Live before, Tonic Live is live tutorials, paper craft tutorials with Alison, and I go through your questions and suggestions on the iPad here, so you can message in. And today, we're gonna to be making this. So we have the window box cards. You may have seen them. Uh, they've been on Creating Crafts as part of a four-day deal this week, but we're gonna do them flat today. So there we go. So there's no window box on the front of it. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're gonna do them flat today, and Natalie's gonna say talk you through that card. I put some pictures up on Facebook and on Instagram to give a few sneak peeks before, so you can see a little closer there. And maybe we can show it on the spider cam. Dan, Dan's with us as well, part of the Tonic Trio. Hello. All there. So yeah, there we go, guys. So you can see that a lot clearer, a lot brighter. And there's loads of loads of texture there, which yeah. we're going to do in a little bit. Bit of depth. Colouring as well there too. Um, as I was going to say, as always, we have a question of the show, which we did last week, and you know we asked you if it was snowing, and you guys came back with us with, <laughs> with plenty of snow pictures and, and and what was going on near you. And we thought today we'd ask, what else do the crafters like? What they like? They like their pets. So what you know, what pets have you got? So do you have pets and do they help you craft? And do they, you know, do you or have, are they a hindrance? Yeah, or are they a hindrance? <laughs> yeah, have you got a budgie that sits on your shoulder and, and sort of watches you, you know, soothes you as you're you you using your dye machine using your dye machine? Or do you have you know, I have got a golden retriever across with a, a collie and just sits there, you know, when I'm doing some work or something like that and just does relax you. So yeah, you know, let us know your pets and how they help you craft as well. So that's what Mine we do today. doesn't help, I have to say. He's, yeah. a, he's a miniature Jack Russell and he just likes to be into everything and everything is chewed and... Mischievous. Yes, very. I know, like, so, like uh, our golden retriever we used to have with sewing and mummy stuff, like wool and, and cotton, it's just like, it's gone. Like, oh, drive around the house. Oh, they off with it, don't they? Like, sort of security, you know, the red line with security, it's just be everywhere. You can't yeah. see the cotton until you're in it. It's, it's kind of the way... Kind like of an really Andrex good. puppy. Exactly, yeah. But with textiles. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll get it. Toilet paper brands are available. Yeah, other, so. yeah, other, yeah sorry. Other, other toilet paper dogs are. I don't know. <laughs> other dogs are available Charm, as other well. Other dogs, yeah. Let's not just. We could see quite golden retriever heavy already today. So. Okay, so the dyes I've used today, I've actually only used two. No, I've used three dyes. I will take say that. Um, I have used the. i got to read it. Naive Nelia, which is our window box dye. And I've also used our Wedding Miniature Moments die. So I'm hoping you can see that on the card there. There we go. But I don't want you to just think of this as a wedding die. Even though it does say wedding in the middle, there's your die cut. You can always remove that. That's not a problem. Yeah, you get to take that out. I think it's a really pretty die. And uh, here we go. Glasses off. Glasses off. And time mm. to go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> nice so what I've done for starters, I have taken. Let me open up the die pack and show you what you get in the die packs first. You see how tidy I put it away. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get your outer edges, which will make the tabs for your window box. Now, I haven't used any of those. Then you get a second layer, which will cut your blank panels to go onto the tabs. And then you get your pretty dies, which will either, they're a verso die, so you can either use the outer edge to cut it out of your cardstock, or as I've done today, I have cut it into my cardstock and I've just used the one side and make sure I get it around the right way. Just popped it into the cardstock, cut it, and repeated on the other side. If um, you just you know you're just tuning in now, by the way, all the shows are uploaded later. So if you did miss any of the start or Ali going through what she's using today, we'll also put all the ingredients. So the, the dyes that, that she's used and the little bits and pieces of all tonic. Um, we'll put it in the description of this video, so you'll be able to check back and you know tick off your list if you do want to make this card for someone. And uh, yeah, you can just mark it off as you go. There we go. So I've cut the, the wedding die cut in white and I'm just going to pop it onto my cardstock. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I mean, you, I don't think you've ever seen me colouring on you and I'm not a huge colourer, i got to be honest. But I do enjoy colouring. I find it quite relaxing. So this week I thought I would do a little bit different. So, you know, I think well, most people in the UK, you might have seen like the... Colouring's become a big thing, you know, for like exactly. therapy. You know, people just 
you know, relaxing, unwinding, uh, and doing it. I know, like Amanda, my girlfriend, she she really enjoys. I know I've mentioned the name of the brand of the woman who does the books before, <laughs> but you know where the Don't say other it today. other books are available. But there's, um, yeah, no, I think it is. It's a it's a good act, you know, it's a good activity. Just I think something about completion. Mm. Whenever you get to complete something, um, you know, no matter how small, it gives you a bit of sense of something. And when you can complete a full colour in and you, you stick it there, it's just a nice thing to to roll through then later on. That's you know, right. Through. And you can frame them, yeah. or you can put them on the front of your cards. So I'm going to pop this. You may think I'm a little bit odd today, but I'm popping this onto a white background. So we're all a little bit white at the moment. But it's what I want to... Yeah, yeah, no, it's not the lights. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you was how well our brush grip pens work and exactly what you can do with them. So our brush grip pens... Some of the colours here. There's a range of colours. They come in a pack of three. So Potentially, we get see, the spider cam as a down, so we see if we can get a bit closer. There we go. So you should. This is a full range of colours. So there's quite a few colours there to they're, choose from. They're all facing the right way, but the ones that do, they, they'll have numbers on the top, just so you know yeah. your shades. You know, if you, yeah. if you do have a brush script. They're all on there. Now we've mixed them all up, the ones I wanted, but never mind, we popped them by there. So what I wanted to do was to show a positive um, effect from these pens. The tips are so fine. I don't know whether you can show on the, on yeah, the spider cam, Yeah, show it on the spider Yeah, you might have to put a bit of card or something. There you can see how fine that tip is. And it really is fine. Also, the tip. Um, have I got a scrap bit of card here that I can show you? Let's pop it on you. It's a flexible tip on the pen. I'm just going to use my bit of packaging here. Yeah. And it just bends. Can yeah, you see it? So the whole nib stays together. And it will just bend as I put a bit of pressure on it. But it also colours really smoothly. So that that's what I wanted to show. When I've coloured a die cut in, in the past, I've always found that I've always had that white mark on the edge of it, or depending what colour card is on the background. But because this nib is so fine, I can go right up to the edge of the die cut. And I'm not worrying about going over the die cut because I'm going to be putting another layer on top. So I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go through to you say hi to some people. You can do some reading. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, we got yeah, Amanda joined us uh, fairly early, and so, so the question we were asking again today, guys, is: Do you have pets, and do they help you craft, or do they, you know, are they therapeutic or are they destructive? You know, for your for your crafting. You know, um, do you have? And Amanda got back to us first of all. She said, "You've know, got two dogs, five cats, three birds." Wow. <laughs> Act like a stretch all over my cardstock when I'm crafting. That is, if you can just clear the cats out of the way, <laughs> yeah. just enough for you to get a little room to craft, Amanda. That sounds awesome. Yeah, Sheila's with us. Uh, Tig Blair is with us too. He said, "Crafting and all." Thanks, Tig. Um, Zena says, "Craft a new all from Zena. Feeling poorly this week with a bad cold. I hope you're oh, feeling better, you. Zena. Hope you feel better." Uh, Sue says, "Afternoon from a chilly but beautiful and sunny Farham on the south coast. Yeah, weather-wise, what's it? It's, it's nice and mild in in South Wales yeah, today. Yeah, it's all right. Not too bad. Maybe yeah, it, it, it's all right." Um, I've got to say hello to the ladies I met last Saturday in Dandy Crafts. We had a, a bit of a demo day, and uh, we had a few giggles over there. Sheila was there. Deb was there. Um, I can't remember all the ladies' names, I'm afraid. South Wales, craft massive. Too. Yeah, <laughs> it's lovely to see you all. No, it's yeah, it's yeah, it, it's great. We we have um, I don't think yet to announce. So on the I think it's at the twenty fifth on, uh, I think it's it's a Wednesday. Um, next yeah, week yeah yeah 25th next week john blood with uh, the gentleman crafter who's going around the uk i think there's still two tickets left so th from from what he's mentioned yesterday yeah. maybe no tickets left but yeah. but, but when, when i spoke <laughs> they to might, they, to, gone, they yeah. might have already gone but i spoke to john uh, and he uh,
And we're going to do a bit of a workshop, uh, you know, get to Zimmy Ali and a few of us. We're doing a craft. We'll probably do a live as well because it's on, it's on the Wednesday as well. Woo! So but there's no reason not to come if you just because you can watch it at home. Come, <laughs> come, come down and, uh, and, and, and we'll, you know, have some tea and, and we'll, and we'll, we'll have a bit of a craft. So all that info is on John Bloodworth's um, to page as well. So you can you can go on there. I think if you scroll far enough down on the Facebook page. I think page he's done as a gentleman well. crafter. Yeah, gentleman crafter, if you can find that. Um, yeah, you can come along, you know, if you're in the South Wales area. You don't have to come too far. But, uh, yeah, if you are local... Yeah, we come along. Um, see, Donna says, good, good afternoon. I have two cats, sisters, Chloe and Molly, buddy, but most actually sit on my lap or plop down on everything I work on the surface at the most inconvenient Aww. moment. I love her and sis too. Too much to complain. By the way, who made the baby window box card that Jodie demoed on CNC? It was stunning. Which one? Oh, you? I'm not oh, sure oh, which. one with the, it's like a, mobi- uh, mobile? a, a mo- mobile. <laughs> <laughs> I or in the UK, think a mobile. Oh, no, Karen no. did one, is it a pink, if it's it a pink a blue one. one. Oh, blue. Uh, I'll try and find a picture. For yeah, you, Dan, so. Dan will try and find it, and Ali's usually got a good eye, because she sees all the cards before they come in, and they go up to the show okay. to, with, with Jodie. I think, yeah, uh, I don't know whether we can have spider cam yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's not really showing it off to its full advantage. You want to put a bit of something behind it? But I've coloured in all... Maybe. I've coloured in all the die cuts. Because basically what I'm going to do is... Well, I won't show you that bit yet. <gasps> Secret for later. That's, that's a tease. That's I didn't know how much time we were going to have, <laughs> see? I didn't know how much time we were going to have, so I did prep a little bit. So the other bits of equipment I've got is our water brush. Aquaflow? No. I love it is an Aquaflow yeah. brush. <laughs> I love this brush and I've never been a fan of water brushes because they always gush too much for me. Yeah, yeah. But with this one, unless you squeeze it, you don't get that that flow of water that you get with the others. So I really like this brush. I better go at those with the aqua flows and some of the others. And yeah, it is just a tiny, a tiny little touch of it. You know, you don't do much, and it just flows down the brush, which is you know attributed to, to the engineering that's gone into it. And, and all you do is, yeah, it's just, it's just it they're, just they're really good fun. Really they're gently, really isn't it? nice. So I've popped a little bit of the red, which is one three nine, onto my glass mat, and I've got a little bit of water on the side that I've just squeezed out to my brush. And I'm just going to make a little wash with it. And onto that then, I'm just going to colour the little roses and the rosebuds. Again, as you can see, I'm not being terribly fussy. Because I certainly am not a proficient watercolourer. But I think you don't have to be. No, you don't. This is what I want, want to show you. That, you know, as long as you can hold a brush... That is basically all you have to do. You do need to be a little bit more careful with this one because this is going to be your top layer on the card. But if you do make a mistake, at the end of the day, it's a piece of card. Yeah, just a just You a can die pop cut. it in the bin and get another piece of card out. That's so it. don't be afraid to have a try. That's it. It's about just you know, practicing, testing. Because you know, not first try. You know, just just give, give it a go, and the more you the more you, you do it, the, the better you'll get. Uh, well, that card was my first try. Yeah, I'll be honest about it, uh, and I will show you the other one. And I felt as I did a bit on the other one, that it kind of got a little bit better, and I was able to get a bit more shade into it. It is a little bit pale. Um, whether I can show it on this red background. There we go. Yeah, you can see the yeah. lovely. Lovely greens and, and and for the flowers as well. Like they just they just they are gentle colours. They fade, you know. They'll you fade, know, they're, they're fade not bright colours. If you want to make it a little bit darker, when I put the the brush marker on the desk on the glass mat, I've put the water into one side of it, so I can always bring more ink from the other side, which is going to make it a little bit darker. So the centre of my rose, I'm going to make that a little bit darker again. And like I say, I mean, I am certainly not proficient at this. Um, I'll, I'll just say hi to a few people. Uh, Sue, I don't know about helping. So, yeah, the question today, <laughs> so do you have pets and do they help or do they hinder your, your crafting experience? Uh, I don't know about helping, but I have five small dogs who like to run away with bits when I'm not looking. Five dogs. Oh, wow. Crazy, That's especially small house. dogs. That is a busy when they When you come home from work or being out at shops. I imagine they go wild. Um, I got um, Catherine's joined us as well in Dublin. Hi, Catherine. Enid joined us as well. 
Uh, two would love to come, but just too far away when the weather Aww. is so predictable. That, that, that's yeah, that's that's fine. You know, we hopefully you know then you know, maybe sometime in the future we'll be able to have more workshops. But you know, if you are fairly local and close, I know there's two tickets left, and that's that's the reason we asked. Just uh, you know, the final two. We uh, like to see everybody. Yeah, yeah, de- oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so we've got Sarah Leg, hi from uh, Crafty Tree of Nicole. But Sunny Dorset, just missed 10 minutes, but we'll get you on catch up. Yeah, all the show is uploaded on YouTube and on Facebook, so you can catch it there. I'm trying to see the YouTube comments. And we absolutely love there. you joining us. Yeah, we, we love, yeah, thanks. There's so many people joining again. You know, thank you for, for joining and saying hi, you know, and, and saying I've got, um, so Max and Soji, I have a Shih Tzu, and he will only eat my acid free, <laughs> he will only eat my acid free paper. I had oh, to make no. a card three times because he, he ate the others. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine from North Carolina, my dog ate my card. Is yeah. it, you know, the, the, the classic yeah, excuse? Do you know, I think I remember using that for a homework. Yeah, for a comment. Uh, I have a cat, so super, as I said, I have a cat, she's a great help. She keeps running off with anything I drop on the floor. That's, that's, that's good as well. That's just, well, yeah, if you've got, so it's not just, you know, paper craft and things like that, you know. Like I said, my my dog and sewing stuff, you know, it just it goes, it just takes it and just takes it on the guard and then, well, it's gone then, and it just, it's just on, on a mud one who have we got. Um, yeah, she says he lays down on whatever I make and demands cuddles. That's it. You're not paying the uh, animals enough attention. That's what you know. Just say, come on, don't be so needy. Just have a, you know, it's my oh, time. You know? Just pushed everything on the floor now. Um, Deborah says hello from uh, from Welsh Wales. Uh, I love uh, my tonic glass craft craft cutting mat, and I use it for just about everything. Yeah, I think a lot of people notice in the glass mat in our videos yeah. and things like that we do, and you probably see on other videos that you know crafters across the world. You know, a lot of them are using it. So if you are looking for a glass mat, you know this is available throughout the trade. So if you Google it and say, you know, Google tonic yeah. glass mat, you'll find it out there. I couldn't be without. Uh, I mean, I work on it all day, every day. Lisa knows. I've already seen tarantula ahead of the twist. Oh but, my word! Uh, Lisa knows three dogs, two cats, one tarantula, and seven chickens. The only one that interviews is my tiger cat. Is is tiger? I'm oh, sorry, not tiger cat. Oh, tiger. <laughs> I was like, now that's uh, a bit different. Tiger cat. See something on a paper or card related and feel the need to sit on it. Yeah, yeah. I think we we had what? Well, I think our handmade papers would be perfect for a, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, a pet. Yeah, yeah a pet. Uh, living room. To flex those claws. Um, see. So, uh, uh, Bucky Hooper says, greetings from the Tonic Trio from a rainy New England, uh, Dar- Dartmouth, Massachusetts, USA. Oh, awesome. Yeah, hi, hi Bucky. Uh, hi, uh, And uh, Stick says, I don't have pets, but I love Tonic Studio in Dallas. That's what it is. It doesn't matter it's if you don't like pets. <laughs> you don't need pets when you've yeah. got Tonic Studios. Nah, nah. Wear your pets. <laughs> Wear your pets now. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, oh, some awesome. Yeah, Donna says it was the pink one, Dan. I know Dan behind the scenes was trying to find out which card oh, that was. The pink one, I oh, think yeah. it's Karen's, if it's big. Potentially, it, it was Karen's, but they're all uploaded on Pinterest as well. So if you do uh, go on Pinterest, go on Tonic Studios and type that in the search bar on Pinterest, and you can find all the boards and everything that, everything that we make there. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the four-day deal that's been on Crate and Craft this week for the window box dies. You know, Jodie's been doing uh, the first three days, so she's on back on at 6 p.m. today. It's going you know, going really well. I hope you guys are enjoying all the lovely cards on there. I know some of you really are. Um, but we got to see Mandy's on there tomorrow then. Mandy's on at, at 1. Uh, I think she may be on later on the day as well, but we'll have to check the time on that. So, yeah, you're joining not too long left. So if you have you know missed out so far, you know, it's still time to, to get some of those uh, window box cards. And, and this is it. You know, we're showing it today in a, in a flat form. Well, there is a window box die as a window box. Yeah, so we got the window box. So there we go. So if you don't know what we're talking about, because maybe in the US and you don't get Crate and Craft in the UK, that's where it is. So a window box, and it folds down as well, so you can post it. So I know a lot of you post your cards, um, and that's you know, a big thing to take into consideration when you oh, when you do it. Because you know, it's not like well, here's your card. You know, you, you, you've got to be a bit. You've got to be a bit like you know, just say, I will measure that after because I've ha- I have had questions asking how big is it in this you know is put together form. Because people want to make a box for it. Yeah. So what I'm doing with this, I mix in a little bit. The green for me was a little bit bright. I got to be honest for leaves. Um. So I've mixed in a little bit of brown and I've mixed in a little bit of yellow because I wanted a more softer green. And then I've added a little bit of a darker colour, a little bit more brown, a little bit more green, and I've just literally played with it. As I say, I'm nowhere near a very good colourer no, it is, it is. but I think you know if you can have a go out there you will enjoy it I'm sure you will yeah well, I said, there's lots of techniques to try you know we so it, it's coming along where's my oh I've lost my red suit. um who have I got I've got uh Faith says morning from Ontario Canada a dreary yes. but unseasonably warm it's oh, a must bit be reflecting there 
There we are. I'm sure you can pick you up on it? that there. There you can. Once I put it all together, then yeah, I'll be able you'll, you'll to be able see. To see. Yeah, and uh, Deb says, uh, yeah, Hinder Poppy has just knocked, uh, oh, Hinder for the, the animals, uh, po Poppy has just knocked my carefully cut diatonic pieces all over the floor. Oh, yeah. no. Paper piecing with a lively animal oh, is not, it's, it's, a, not it's a delicate it? task. It's <laughs> a, oh, yeah, oh, colour in. Um, yeah, Babel joined us. Yeah, he's still in time. Yeah, you can watch all the show back, though, it's all uploaded later on. Uh, Raquel, hello from upstate New York. Oh, hi. Um, hello. Hi, Raquel. And uh, Justine joined us as well. Crafted Noon. Oh, hi, Justine. Uh, Raquel, just to clean up my craft area, now too exhausted to craft. That's it. That's why we do the crafting, you know. <laughs> we leave it to us, and you can, and you can just you relax. You can just now. chill. Yeah. That's it. Well, our craft area. I don't know whether that's it looked quite large or that's the thing you. Our it's, craft area. It's not here. Which is literally, what you see is what you get. Yeah, what it is, just, it's a table. We in previous videos we were up in another studio where where we had a, which another room basically another room where where we had a bit more space. But yeah, it's nice and I like it here. It's all right. It's close. I you're, like you're in it on here. top of the craft. Exactly. You know? Come can't in. Get closer you to can't. The craft. You want to get closer to the craft. I know that's what a lot of you want. So. <laughs> We still got the spider. I'm still here. going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry. Cleaning my brush as well. That's all I'm doing is giving it a little squeeze, and that is cleaning all the other colour out of my brush. So our last bit now. I've got a tiny little bit of pink, and it's quite a pale pink. What's an alternative? Code, the number on the door is 132. 132. Brush script 132. Yeah. Ladies so. crafting 132. <laughs> the, 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 Not too little deaths. <laughs> three, 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 so, yeah, yeah. three ladies crafting yeah. 132. What, what, what is, um, what's an alternative to it? If you haven't got a glass mat and you want to do this kind of blend. A tile. A tile. Yeah. A tile. Anybody that's got a tile at home, yeah. use a tile. Or you could use um, plastics or something a bit. Something, something that like a poly pocket. That's not going to absorb the. Yeah. The anything like that. I mean, to avoid the hassle of will it or won't it, you could always just get the glass mat and then that would do. Yeah, just get the glass mat is get the, the glass is the mat. only thing you can use to to, to do this. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got say so Sarah says we'll love to have all the pens, but it's afford them. Yeah, you know if, if there are some it is. some yeah it you is. know. Money's always an issue, you know, with, to buy things we like understand this. But, that. but you know, yeah, pick the ones that you like. You know, if there's certain shades that you like, you have got a card in mind, then you know, get something that's going to be perfect for that. I've got uh, Raquel also asking, do you ever cut dyes out of watercolor paper? It's my favorite. Yes. I haven't yet. You yes, have. I have. I have. <laughs> right. I'm that. actually going to move. No, in a minute, I'm going to move this out the way. Um, hang on, I dropped them on the floor. <laughs> Apologies. There you go. Good job. You can't see my BTM there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being polite today, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so with these now, I've coloured it in pink. <laughs> no. There you go. I don't want to have to ask what does don't it Don't say for? nothing. No, okay. Yeah. Don't I'm, say I'm nothing. Not Dan, though. Google it. <laughs> It wasn't rude, honest. Yeah, okay, okay. We trust, you. We, we we trust, trust you. you. we haven't done this many shows without. <laughs> no. So again, now I'm adding a little bit of dimension with a darker colour because obviously using the pen neat is going to be darker than the. If you can see, right, let's pop it back on there, on the little pink flowers right in the centre. I've just popped a. It looks like a little C, and I've done it in a darker pink. It is a bit delicate, this is to show, but I wanted to show that you can, you don't have to have bright colours, that you no. can make nice delicate ones. And I'm just popping a little bit of purple on the top of these, they look like little dandelions. Well, so you do, you know, all cards, not all cards are perfect for, uh, the code on that one, Ali's got the other way around. So the code see. is 135. 135. 135. 135. Three ladies crafting. <laughs> <laughs> three ladies crafting. One, three, five. Same one. It's all same I can, one, literally one. all I can think of. Three di you know, three tangerines, die cut and tangerines. They would all be the same number, I guess, for yeah, that. Yeah, they yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. They would. That's ending that line. I'm not doing that again. So my <laughs> last <laughs> my last bit that I'm gonna pop on top, again to give it a shimmer, is our aqua shimmer pen. And this gives a subtle glitter. I mean, I'm not a huge glitterer, as you may know. 
He said it that way. Every time he said it. I've not. Not good. <laughs> not good. Don't like it. Not good at it. I like a bit of a shimmer, but I yeah. don't like lots of glitter. I I think it's the texture for me. So I literally am just brushing over the top of it. I'm not doing anything special. Be careful, mind if your colours are, are still wet, because obviously this is water based. But does it add a bit of sparkle, something? It's all about you know the texture. When you look at a card, sometimes you see that extra little something, it is. That, something that's there, it just is. a you know, bit of extra detail, and that's it. You know, when you shimmer, your, you know the card's gonna it'll shimmer you know, more than it anything will. on there. It will. Um, so you'll get that. I've got. I've got you it. know, if you're not a huge glitter fan, then these are just perfect because you can just pop a little yeah, swipe yeah. wherever you want it. Then. So, and talk about the muted colours. Like not every card, you know, occasions not all you know, nice occasions that we deal with. Not all need to be as as poppy you know they don't all need to be exactly. as, as bright so it's nice to have like these muted shades that, that you can use to create like a natural or you know that kind of thing i mean normally i do use bright shades it's very rare i do muted colors but i thought well i'll do it for a change today i'm just going to pop this out the way just in case it's uh it's blocking anybody's view so funky glue pen and i have got a new funky glue pen <gasps> Is it, is it because the other one ran out? It is because the other one ran out. That's like what, two How long have I used that? And I'm using that every day. Yeah. So, okay, so there's plenty. So funky glue pen, it's pretty reliable. It's a staple glue for all our crafters, pretty much. So we send them out and the girls, you know, these are what they use. Yeah, it's, well, it's too it's quick. It's not so a you lot. Got, you know, you've got your, your value there. If you did see our, me and Dan did a video, um, how many crystal drops in it? In a crystal drop as well, you know, you get your value <laughs> to, pl to plug that yeah, video. Yeah, we'll, oh, at the end. End. we'll do it at the end. Yeah. So my sizes today, I've got an 8x8 eight eight scallop oh, base sauce. card. <laughs> I've cut a red piece of card. I'm afraid it's in inches today. It's seven inches. The white layer is six and three quarter inches. I haven't reverted back and I haven't forgot I will put a blog post up. Um, showing the the box, box I did. Yeah. Still here? Yeah, here's the box. So, if, if you first time joining us for live, by the way, this is the box we did for last week. So Valentine's box, not too far away. Um, but it's kind of a, you know a men's one we sort of thinking as well, and a and a female sort of unisex. Box, it could be wasn't either. It? So it could be yeah, either for both. But lovely box, so yeah, paper box so you can create. And we showed you from start to finish how to make that the previous show. But we got loads and loads of shows. So. Some of the cards are behind us, but there's plenty of shows and lots of different makes. So if you first time join us on Tonic Live, there is there's loads there. You know, there, there's loads there to, to see. Um, yeah, Raquel says, "Yay, inches! They're gone inches, another inches." <laughs> oh, there, is, there, the world is divided that way, yeah. but you know, I know. You, just, you can't, you can't, you can't, se you can't separate it. But yeah, we're, we're on the blog, we we'll, we'll try and do one or the other, or we we'll try and at least make it. On the blog, I I am trying to put both measurements on. The card I've got is our beautiful scarlet satin card. Shiny, shiny. It is shiny, shiny, and it is beautiful. So because I'm sticking onto satin card, I'm trying to put the minimum amount of glue on the back because I don't want it, hence it's on my hand. I don't want it squelching out from behind the pattern because obviously you've got um, a non-porous surface on a satin or foiled card. So there's our card now. I've cut a little strip. It's here somewhere, there it is. Again, of the satin card. And I'm gonna pop that across the middle. Some, uh, some comments here. So Barb, so just after we had yay inches, we had Babel coming back with centimetres, centimetres. So, <laughs> oh, Babel's please don't fight. Babel's based in Germany as well. So yeah, I think it's a, yeah, um, Atlantic divide there over centimetres <laughs> and uh, and there. Uh, Sarah says centimetres too, and then but then Sheila also says I'm too old for this centimetres lark. So, so so we've got you know this with <laughs> Sheila those? did say that on the weekend. She didn't do centimetres. Yeah, 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 I'm not changing. Yeah. I I ain't changing from inches for no one. So we got <laughs> the. the and uh, yeah, 20.5 centimetres. So Raquel's like doing the maths. Oh, for us, so well done. Thank you very much. I mean, if you want to contribute. <laughs> if you're happy to do a full on. blog post yeah, on that, yeah, um, yeah. amending all Ali's uh, uh, stuff. We've got, at last, uh, um, Hillary says, at last, I'm off sick, but it means I can finally watch live. Yeah, you know, being sick is bad. But, but watching Tonic too, Live uh, live uh, is, that's the, uh, even is the best. Yeah. But, you know, if you're watching on catch up, still comment because we, we re always read them. We try and get back to you as soon as we can as well. 
I mean, last week we had loads of comments. Loads and loads, loads of comments, mainly about that. Thoroughly enjoyed going through snow and, what, and is it snowing yeah. near you? Yeah. Thing. But this week, let's say we were asking you, uh, do you have pets and are they or help or a hindrance to, to your crafting? Or do they just relax you that way? Do you know, like you you never commented before? Just put it yeah, first on. time looking at it, just say hi. Yeah. If, if you haven't commented yeah, before, because I'm, I'm seeing lo hi. loads of new people there say join us all the time. So, yeah, if you if join us before. On, on Facebook, let's try and get more than 60 comments. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to put it out there. I'm going to put a number on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. setting us up for comments. disappointment if it's not. <laughs> well done. So, I've popped a little bit of ribbon through the centre. And now I'm going to put some <laughs> foam pads. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore this pair. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you do every day. <laughs> oh, I don't. Don't be so nasty. You know you're my favourite boys. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, I've been up still up in the office. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Love you all too. <laughs> yeah. but we're using. Would this be? We're doing this for depth reasons as well. Using these. I am pads doing this, this for one. depth. Yes. So you can't. I it could be flat. All this could be flat. You can show. I'll show the, the finished card. This so just give you an idea of what we're working towards. Maybe I'll show it on the spider cam if Dan can get that. Sorry to move it down quick. The camera is just facing straight down. So there we go. That's what we're towards. And you can see the, the satin underneath. That's lovely. It looks great. I absolutely love the it's satin. It's not like card. a. Like I say that kind of that kind of gloss or shine. It's not a tacky sort of. No. Is it? It's like a, no. a classy. And it can go with you. You combine that with your your blacks or your you know they got that there. But it looks looks lovely, like those darker shades. There's like electric blue in it. Yeah, yeah. There's a gorgeous purple. It's like a chocolate box purple. Um, I would just be stro. I'd just be. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get any. It is a bit then. of one one to keep, one to stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and the ladies thing. at home will know that. I know what I mean. <laughs> Um, I'm talking a card stop. I always leave card stop. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love, um, yeah, Amanda uh, joins lovely colours. Uh, great demo, guys. Thanks, Amanda. Uh, Pat says hi to all. Loving to see the lovely, um, love watching to see the lovely demos. Oh, thanks, Pat. Oh, thank you. Um, Jean says keep calm and craft on. So I think she's saying t to you there. When and Dan are being uh, annoying and disrupting it. Um, uh, Deb says just got a pot of Garnet Red Nouveau Glimmer Paste. I love it. Valentine's card being made as you watch you guys. Oh, to upload wow. that to the Tonic Live chat page. So on, on a Friday we do another live show at 4 p.m. So we're winding down, you know, to the weekend, and we just look at your cards which you've made in the week, and you can just upload them. So we just go through the cards on a bit of a showcase. You can watch some of the other shows which you've done like it. Um, but it's the Tonic Live chat page, and it's on. In the description to this video and if you type in facebook on the top tonic live chat you can find the page just ask to join and then just upload your cards and say say hey followed by the hashtag show tonic as well so we'll find it find it there in there but yeah upload your cards we'd love to see that especially with the glimmer page people are doing some really cool stuff texture wise and, mm -hmm. and one with the oh, stencils they've got so yeah there's some awesome if well the the, the garnet red is perfect for valentine's day you know it's got similar you know, like pop to sh and shine to, to that. That's yeah. right. Um, and Lane says, oh, hi all, hi Elaine, thanks for joining. Uh, and Rose Davis, hi everyone, love the card. So yeah, there's the card, keep knocking it down. Well, I thought, <laughs> I was trying to keep a little bit um, in with the theme of things that were coming up. So I thought this could be a Mother's Day card. So even though it's, it's a wedding day, as I say, it doesn't have to be um, kept as a wedding day. Yeah. And I also think it would make a nice get well card. Um, we had a comment on YouTube. Dan has just translated it to me from <laughs> Spanish. It says hello from Spain. So hi Rose. That, thanks from uh, thanks for saying hey from Spain. And uh, Slick also says love, love, love your products and your demos. Oh, thanks. Oh, and, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's, it's your first time seeing Tonic Studios, and, and you've you know wonder what this is. Um, so we're a craft company based in the UK, but we got to so we're in America in a big way now as well. Um, and we, we've done we do in dyes, we do embellishment, we do tools, which is pretty much where we started. Um, you know, whether it be scissors and things like that. Um, and we do lots of card now we know what we're doing as well. So there's so massive, massive product range. Too so if you could show that on there, I wanted to show yeah. that even though the colouring was a little bit messy to start with, when you put the second layer on, Ooh, it makes it all neat and tidy yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. Even though you're using quite like soft colours, it still pops. It does. Like it's, it it's, does. It's, it's a big attention. Well, you, you, you can combine them together you know like you've done combine that sort of that's pop right. and that and unmuted and it does yeah it really shows through i wanted it to have more perspective and more a bit more oomph 
Um, so uh, Maria says hello it's me again oh hi Maria um, yeah Maria I think she showed some did a great blog with some uh, sort of tonic stuff which is on the tonic live chat page awesome Maria oh I saw that Maria yeah, fantastic fantastic card um, oh it's me that's a large card I think you create a gorgeous scene inside like a book yeah you could yes you could yeah you that's, could I say in the UK you know, we noticed you know there are different styles in the UK we tend to Lot of crafters are quite a larger card is, is the standard and in the in the US it kind of and, and in Europe a lot of the places we're doing like 12 by 12 or or are they smaller than that sort of like a bit um, a bit of a smaller card is like tr is as a sure. as a UK card let me make sure that's straight we would probably call it an A6 card is is quite traditional in America and yeah. a lot of Europe just making sure I've got this straight uh, Sarah said, I've had a tonic week this week using my dyes. I haven't used for a while or not used. I've uploaded the show tonic. Uh, oh, tonic rules, thank you. Yeah, so Aww. yeah, um, uplo up, uh, yeah, upload your card there. We'll take a look at that and we'll show it on Friday show. So we're back 4 p.m. here on, on Friday. Um, so just tune in live if, if you make it home. But it's always, uh, if you did upload your card and you wanted to see it, you know, it's uploaded later on so you can catch up. Okay, so out of the dye now, I have cut the banner out of the middle. You could just see the center there i've cut the whole banner out and i've mounted it on some red card then i've taken the center of the banner which is that little bit in the middle there and i've cut the wedding bit out so that's all i've got is a frame there go. and then i'm going to layer those on top of the card uh, Maria asks as well. She says, "Any shows in the UK like CHA? Because I know CHA is going over on in America at the moment. Where is that? That is in Ari Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. So that's going on, and that's the the US mega craft creme de, creme. creme de la creme of craft globally. I think you know a lot of yeah. uh, where a lot of the oh, crafters I'd go. I'd love to go to the CHA. In the UK. Yeah, you know, we t Tonic are out there, or some of the office are at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are, we are. That. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're happy to be fall here. Down and then it's just we're in America. Yeah, so we're in America. We are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's for, this, we're on a bit. That would be awesome. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. But um, yeah, we, we in, in the UK. What's the equivalent of CHA? Maybe but stitches. stitches. Stitches, and that, that's a trade. Yeah, it's a trade yeah. show. Um, which is man, a lot of very March time. Uh, like later on, the hobby craft show is later on in the year towards. And that's October around time, and that. This year, we, we were at, me and Dan were there as well. We did a live there with Jody, and and they, you know, they, they had a the full craft. It goes on. It's so big. The the, the, the NEC. It's so, huge, so isn't it? yeah, if you're outside the UK, it's in Birmingham, so it's kind of the centre of, of the UK. Um, and you it's sounded the, a bit brummy in Birmingham. Yeah, exactly. Birmingham, um, uh, and also known as the Midlands. Also yeah. the Midlands, or the Black Country as well, <laughs> people call it. Um, but you have. It, it's it's massive, and I think they had a, they had a wedding exhibition there as well, and a cake <laughs> exhibition, and it was. <laughs> Unbelievable the cakes! Like I saw the first cake and I go, that's got to win. And then you look next door, and there's like a giant <laughs> BFG card, yeah. a cake. And then they had another one, like sort of a, a big saw, flower was, cake. It was oh, a wow. Lad. Edward Scissorhands from, from Ed Waste that's um, made out of cake. <laughs> like that, that, that alone, that, that's saying. I mean, that's just amazing, that's insane, isn't that? Insane. <laughs> yeah, loads. But you know, on the craft on the craft side of it, you know, you had all our retailers, you know, people who do sell tonic, and and you know, you got to do a, a bit of a workshop there. I haven't got anything so lined up with with tonic uh, out of the shows yet this year so far, but you know, you never know. Later in the year, we we may be there. Okay, so I've used our little alphabet, and I've cut out two M's and a U, so it's going to be mum on my card because I was thinking. People are going to be looking for ideas yeah, for Mother's yeah. Day shortly. Well, that's the beauty of the alphabet and, and things like exactly. that. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Yeah, we hit 60 comments, Dan's, uh, Dan's so task, task that he sent you. So well, yes. well done, everyone. So I'm to centre this, I'm just popping my U on first. And then the M's will go either side then. Elaine asks, uh, do you know when the Tim Holt scissors uh, will be on sale? Uh, oh, the, the, the I think it is. Is it the, the micro snips, the the, the new ones? Uh, um, let let us know which one it is. No. It's probably the the little five inch. It is a small one. scissors. I'm, we're not sure when they're here yet. I know they've been available in the US, and they pretty much yeah. they sell out quite quick, uh, quick there. But we'll not sure. we're not we're not sure yet. Yeah, I don't want to make a promise uh, that they they're here when when they're not yet. But <laughs> yeah, as soon as we know, oh, you know, we'll we'll be able to let you know and uh, and and let everyone know um, there on that. I saw someone YouTube down. I don't know whether oh. go back. Just so we don't leave anyone out. The the snips are absolutely amazing. I know. I gotta be Tim Hot scissors and you know. So we work with Tim Hot on a lot of like the tools and things like that. And uh, 
Yeah, they always work out great products. Uh, people over the world, um, I, I have a rescue border collie from Dogs Trust. Bridget, that's where I got my dog from. Um, her name is Saren, and she sits next to my chair when I'm crafting. Oh, that's, oh, nice. that's lovely. That is nice. If you're wondering, by the way, and just joining us, it's the question of the day. Yeah, question uh, of the day is, um, so do you have any pets, and do they help or hinder your crafting? Are they, are they relaxing for you? Are they tearing up your cardstock? Are they, are they doing, um, I don't know. Eating your crystal drops. Mine was nightmare. Don't, don't let them do let that. Them do that. <laughs> no, don't let them do that. I'm not sure of the... I'm not sure of the animal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Answer. I don't know. But yeah, do... Richard? <laughs> yeah, call Richard. We're not going to test that either. No. <laughs> My last little dog. I had a rescue dog from the Bridgend Trust. The Dogs Trust. And... Um, he would just nab anything he could from the craft room. <laughs> And he used to sit, he'd splay his legs. He looked like a chicken wing <laughs> when he'd sit outside. And uh, he would chew whatever he could get his hands on, his little paws. He came out of the craft room one day with crystal drops stuck on his, uh, not crystal drops, little diamante stuck on his forehead. Oh. He didn't have a lot of tea. <laughs> Terribly decorative dog, I had. Yeah, some dogs that, you know, are like that, that they, you know, they are. They are more destructive uh, than others in, 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 in the crowd. Oh, he certainly was. I've got another little demo to show you today. That's why I'm doing a bit of rearranging. <laughs> we, were, we were ready to go home then. No, no, I, I, I was like, I, just, I noticed you'd put, put the car to the front. I know I was talking. So there we go, guys. There, there's the finished car. And we did that one as, as, like, as mum as well. I've got it on the spider cam so you can see it close there. But as you can see. But as I say, I think that would make a lovely get well card. Yeah. You know, I'm, if you've got your alphabet, you could pop get well in the centre of that. It's great. And, you know, you you, know, you put your, what you want in the middle there, you know, as well, in terms of the, you know, the, the dye and, and there. But, you know, it's nice to colour and you can do your own designs and, you know, picture maybe something in the middle. But you know, I've perfect. just realised I'm not going to be able to show you this. I've left the dye upstairs. <laughs> so it's not like so me, is like it? you. Yeah. I will show you on Friday. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll, we'll show you. That's a I trail for Friday, Friday. show. So, so you can join us. I've got... Um, yeah, so, yeah... Um, a colleague upstairs has mentioned that yeah the the, the snips the tonics uh, the Tim Holtz snips are available in the UK now um, mm. as well um, and then Lisa Nose says any idea when the Tim Holtz stamping platform will be available in the UK no it will be previewed at CHA yeah so all of you who are Tim Holtz fans um, you would have seen on his Facebook and on YouTube that um, with a stamping platform which we've done in collaboration with him uh, we don't have a date on it yet or a, a price point but it's going to be released I think. Well, yeah, I, I can't. I, we don't have any info on it. Okay. I, mid, I can't mid, give any. Probably. Yeah, well, mid, mid April, April is, is what's being said there. Um, Thirty-two ninety-nine. Thirty-two ninety-nine and mid April. So, so we going from knowing nothing the over the course of the show, we, we know it all now. Yeah. So, um, so, so yeah, so so that sort of time. If you're looking forward to that, if you're getting into stamping or you're an experienced stamper, you're really going to love it. You know, if you've watched that video by Tim already, it's great. Mm. They got um, yeah, so loads and loads of features, which which I'm sure he, he's gone through on there, and we'll show you. But yeah, pop over to, to Tim's uh, Facebook, and you'll be able to have a look there. Uh, there's plenty on there. Um, so Jean says, I've got a black Labrador Cocker Spaniel. The Crocker has eaten glue from the hot glue gun. Oh dear. But when I try into craft, he always gets on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to craft and you can't craft. that dog loves to craft and you can't yeah. you know it's difficult to stop a dog which yeah, yeah, yeah. which loves to craft um and i've got uh liz saying, my dog just bark when i go to craft i feel guilty and and I, and I end up uh, doing no craft oh, wow well, you've got a you know your conscience on that so uh, and then uh, hell says uh, that card is stunning as well so Aww, yeah there's you. the card guys so yeah if you didn't miss any of this at all so that was the card we made um it's all uploaded later on so it's all uh, all uploaded later on on facebook is pretty much instantaneous you can watch back on youtube is about half an hour 45 minutes but the beauty on youtube uh, watching any of our videos is it stops where you leave it so some of them have longer tutorials and you can just pause it and when you leave and just go back it, it'll still be there it's good so I all that yeah idea. it's cool um it's so, right i think this was i think dan dan <laughs> did queue up i would just said it was a off the cuff comment but yeah. but um this was have you ever wondered how many crystal drops <laughs> how many drops in a crystal drop Let past you do the talking okay so he'll explain you... i'll explain it better than myself <laughs> Go, roll of et good hi everyone and i work at tonic studios have you ever wondered how many drops are in a crystal drop well today with the help of some tape and a crystal drop we're going to find out so here goes
find out how many drops I was able to drop, go over to our YouTube channel for the full video. Hi everyone, my name is Owen. Well, there we have it. <laughs> find out more that on took YouTube. me on after this. So, yeah, so, uh, find it on YouTube. So on, on YouTube, we've got all the, re the rest of that video. It doesn't go on too much longer, but that, that's, that's, that's how, how much it is. And you'll it find out forever. like how many drops. Um, well, yeah, it does actually go on a, almost d more than double. <laughs> more than double that. Yeah, I, my arm will with the justification of that. Um, but there was, yeah, so you'll find out on that. And yeah, there's, there's loads in there. So, so in a crystal drop, if you ever wondered, there's loads. So I've a few people saying, you know, did it, you know, that's commitment to it, commitment to the course. So thanks everyone. But yeah, if you do want to see more videos like that and lots and lots of other videos for Tonically, lots of tutorials. Ali did a great tutorial for the window box die, um, say so on there as well, so you'll be able to see that. Um, Dan, I thought you showed me a comment. There we go. Uh, so yeah, yeah, there's lots of tutorials on this. You'll be able to, you'll be able to see see those and yeah, just like and subscribe so we can do more videos like this. And Facebook, so if you're watching on YouTube and you haven't seen us on Facebook before, there's loads on Facebook. That's just, that, that's got all of our stuff on. So show times, things we're on, new launches, bits and pieces. So lots and lots on Facebook. So like our Facebook page to keep mm -hmm. up with that. Instagram, so Instagram, we do some behind the scenes stuff, some great beauty shots of some of our cars and our products together. And we enjoy your stuff on Instagram, you know, whenever we look, you know, some great uh, crafters out there doing some great stuff on there. So yeah, we love Instagram. And you know, if you like those sort of shots too, yeah, um, join Instagram and, and follow us. Pinterest, so all our inspirations on Pinterest, so all the cards which go uh, go on the show. So someone mentioned earlier a card that they saw there, um, which Jodie demonstrated. Likelihood it has been made by one of our crafty ladies and we've uploaded it on there. So you can find it and you know, see if it's something you're unsure of on how it was made, ask us and we you know, try and do our best to, to help. We'll be able to find the crafter <laughs> who can anyway, at least. Um, so yeah, that, that's I Pinterest. I was happy to answer questions. Yeah, yeah really. Um, and, and Twitter, you know, be a bit more active on Twitter as well uh, recently and just keeping you up to date with show times and, and letting you know and little reminders of, you know, just in case, you know, so make sure you never miss a show. You never miss a Crate and Craft show. Um, and on that note, yeah, so 6 p.m., Jodie's back on on today for the for the window box dies. And then tomorrow, uh, you're with Mandy as well for the, for the window box dies. So don't miss any of them. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy them and there. But, you know, from me, Owen, uh, and Ali. And me. And Dan. And Dan. <laughs> and, and the Tonic Trio. Um, we'll see you on Friday at 4 p.m. for uh, Tonic Live Chat. And, ask and I'll share show. this with you on Friday. And we'll do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> see you then, guys. See you. Have a good week. Bye.